Hello and welcome. We are going to go into a fusion stretch. So happy Good Friday, everyone. Um, you may have had a super busy week doing all of the things that you're juggling in your life. So today is about taking care of your body. So a fusion stretch. We're going to go for about a half an hour and uh, just really release tension in our body, release muscular tension, but also just any kind of mental tension that we're having as well because we tend to store our mental tension within our muscles, right? And vice versa. Our muscles, when they become tense, also affect our psychology. So we're gonna release both today. Whatever you need a little bit more of today is what we're gonna do. So great to see so many people coming into class that you know that you need some flexibility and stretching today. So that's so good, because everybody's been working out pretty hard, um, especially some of you I've been seeing on a regular basis. You're doing all of the intense workouts, so now it is about time to take care of yourself. So there's a few things that you need to gather before we start this. Now you could do it with, with the whole class without any equipment, but if you have these tools, it's gonna give you even a little bit more. So here's what you want. You want a belt of some sort. I have a belt off my robe. My robe has never been the same. Okay, then you need to have a ball. I've stolen my dog's ball. This may or may not work out so well today for me because he may want to come and get it. But um, any ball about this size or a tennis ball size, so find any kind of ball in your house that is about this size. Density, if it's a little bit stiffer, better because we'll use it to do some release work, some myofascial release work. So go find yourself a ball, but before you run away, go get yourself a beach towel or your biggest towel you have in your house and then you're gonna roll it up so it becomes your foam roller. Now if you have a foam roller at home, you can use your foam roller. But if we don't have a foam roller, I've just rolled up my favorite beach towel, pretend I'm on the beach today, um, and it's going to be a prop for enhancing some of the mobility that we'll get, especially in the upper body. So those are the tools you, you uh, wanna collect before we get started. So. You got a ball, you got a towel, rolled up nice and firm. You got a belt of some sort. And again, if you don't have any of this, I'll try and remember to give you options throughout thinking about if you haven't got any of this uh, in your house. So start running around and finding it so that you've got it available for you as we go. All right, and I'm just gonna check in. It is time to get started. Are you ready to get started? So good to see everybody here. This is a combination of myofascial release techniques and flexibility training. So myofascial release and flexibility training as we go through. So we're gonna release, then we'll, we'll stretch, we'll release, we'll stretch. So key thing is our feet. But before we start there, let's just check, check Check in, check in, couldn't even get that word up. Check in with your body. So just lift your legs alternating and notice how they're feeling. Mine feel like they weigh 100 pounds each, right? They're super heavy, right? So the other thing to test is your arms. How are your arms feeling? All right, we swing the arms. How are they feeling? I got a little bit of tension in my neck as I'm doing that. So just observe what you observe. What you've got is what you've got. Now before we even get started, this is all pre-testing so we can retest at the end. Bring your feet about hip or shoulder width apart. You're gonna keep your legs straight. Yep, this is no warm up and just go into it. Hip hinge and go to a standing forward bend. And as you go to that standing forward bend, I want you to notice how much tension do you have, right? Do you have a lot of tension, a little tension? Whatever you got, our work is to get rid of that. Good, and then bend your knees and roll yourself up. All right, so we're gonna start with your feet, right? So, if you have a ball, bring it under the ball of one foot, and you're gonna roll from your big toe to your little toe. If you do not have a ball, you are gonna give yourself a self-massage. You are just gonna get in to the ball of your foot, and you're gonna to start to give yourself a little rub down, right? So right in the ball of the foot. So right at the top of the foot where the toes intersect with the foot, that's where you're gonna work it out. Okay, so dig in there, get it going. Now line up the ball with the big toe and roll your inner arch. So you're just gonna roll the inner arch. And how much pressure you put into the ball is dependent on what works for you. If you do not have the ball, you're gonna take your thumbs, you're gonna put them into the arch and you're gonna give yourself a little massage along the inside edge of that 
um, arch. Then take the ball to the middle and you're going to roll down the middle line of the, the arch. So those of you who are just doing thumb work, you're going to roll right up that center line of your arch with your thumb. Now, as we're doing this, especially on the other side, I'm going to talk about fascia because I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to fascia and I'm going to share that with you today. Okay, let's come to the other side, outside edge of the foot. Now this is where the ball can go shooting, so don't take out anybody as you do this. You roll the outside edge of the foot. So the lateral arch of the foot. And just roll it out. Your tempo is your tempo. It doesn't really matter. You just want to go easy, controlled. And then you're going to come to the heel of the foot. So right in the middle of your heel pad, as if you're wearing high heels, you're going to push straight down. Exhale. Inhale and release. You exhale, you press into it, so we're just waking up all the nerves in the feet. And then release one more time. If you're working with your thumbs, you're just pressing into that heel pad and then releasing. And then just, just do a general rollabout, a rollabout in your foot, anywhere you want. If you're massaging your foot, just massage your foot wherever you want. Now if you're saying, but I never massage my own feet, let's start. Let's start because taking care of your feet is super important. Good, and then release and roll through the feet and walk it out. Okay, so if you are sitting down massaging your feet, stand up for a minute. I want you to take your feet underneath you, close your eyes, and notice what you notice. The foot that we just rolled, and that was like a minute and a half of work, feels completely different. Would you agree? Yeah, it does. It feels more alive, it's connected, it's more grounded, yet lighter. It's a weird kind of oppositional thing. It's grounded, but lighter. Let's go to the opposite side. So you're going to roll the ball of the foot. So now it's the education, while you are rolling the ball of the foot. So, the fascial system connects everything in your body. It connects the muscles, the joints, the connective tissue, and the nervous system. Everything connects and is connected in organized ways in our body. So when we work the bottoms of our feet, it stimulates the entire back line of your body. So your calves, your hamstrings, your gluteals, your spinal muscles, all along the back of your body. So by simply taking care of your feet, you can start to reduce tension in the back of your body. How cool is that? It's not magic, it's physiology. So now, let's take it to the inner arch. You're gonna roll the inner arch. Now I'll take a deeper dive into fascia. I do fascia workshops for instructors, and I'll take deeper dives into fascia as we continue on in our workouts. But the, the general premise is fascia connects everything in our body. And it's a, it's a highway, a network of talking through the nervous system and connecting one part to another. Roll through the inner arch. So when we work through our feet, and often we forget about our feet, right? Our feet are connected to the whole back line of your body. So when you did that forward bend, if you felt a lot of tension, let's maybe work our feet a little bit more. Let's go to the outside edge, outside edge of that arch, that rolling of the outside edge. So I like to start always with the feet, either a foot massage or a foot roll, right? Because that just stimulates everything. Good. And then take the ball of the foot into the, or the ball into the heel and press down. So if you studied reflexology or if you've ever had a reflexology um, uh, work done on your feet, you'll know that the feet are super, super sensitive and it connects to organs and muscles and tissues. Good, and then slowly release and let's just roll about. So start with your feet and then we keep moving through the whole body. Ready to get going? Okay, so take, take the um, ball away, bring both feet underneath you and hopefully both feet feel more centered now, yeah? So let's walk the feet wide. We're just gonna get some movement through the whole body. Take a deep breath, inhale, raise up. Now imagine you're sliding down a wall in front of you. You're gonna slide down that wall. You're gonna take your hands to the mat between your feet. Now, the distance of your legs will depend on how much upper body we have, right? So do you need to go a little bit wider to give yourself more space, all right? And then you're gonna roll up. So you're gonna roll up. So imagine your body's between two walls. There's one in front, there's one behind. We're gonna slide down the front wall, slide down it. Cool. All right, hands come down. Tuck the chin and then just move right and left. Move right and left. Okay. And then from the back of your body, roll up along that back wall. Now let's do it again. Inhale, exhale, slide down the wall. Slide, 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 slide. Uh, and then move. 
All right, so just starting to release any tension that you've got going on in your hips, right, in your back. This should feel really good on the back as well as the hips. Good. And then tuck the tailbone under and you're gonna roll up the wall. We're gonna do that one more time. We're just getting full body, slide down, <sighs> slide down the wall, hands come down. Get into a comfortable place for you with your legs. So mobility work is to do not only static stretching, but dynamic stretching, so movement. So come to the center, roll up, and roll yourself all the way up. Good. Now reach with the right, right arm and the left arm and just feel length from your feet to your fingertips. So you're alternating the reaches. You're just trying to create length. That's all we're doing right now. As if you were making yourself taller than when you arrived at the stretch class, okay? Breathe through it, breathe through it. Then inhale, reach up, exhale, and let it come down and roll the shoulders back. Let's do it again, reach up. Now, press the feet down or just lift up and lengthen. We're just trying to make ourselves taller, longer through the whole body. You wanna almost feel like you're lifting your ribs off your hips, right? The ribs are coming off the hips, good, and then exhale, we got that one more time. Inhale, reach up, right? Imagine you're climbing a rope, just keep climbing, keep climbing, keep stretching and lengthening, right? So if you started at 5'4", you're gonna leave at 5'5", five five, right? Keep it going. Good, and then inhale, exhale, and release. Good, roll the shoulders back. Do it again, turn the palms forward as you roll back. All right, roll back, palms forward. As if you're serving up something, serve it up, okay? Serve it up. Now let's add that rotation. Rotate out, so we're rotating out as we roll back. We're rotating out and you roll back, rotating out. So we're just getting some movement in the shoulder and the upper ribs. Shoulder and upper ribs. One more. Good, and then inhale, raise all the way up. Take your right hand to your left wrist, pull up and side bend. Oh, now gently pull out and press down onto your left foot. Inhale, lift up, go the opposite way. Pull up first, then exhale. Press down into the opposite foot. Inhale, pull up, lengthen over. Press down into the left foot. Inhale, come up. Exhale over. So you're pressing into the foot that you're moving away from. One more time, each way. Pull up, then over. Lift, pull up, over, lift, and release. This is just a warm up, soften the knees. All right, and then just let your arms swing. Like if we had no care in the world, which we definitely have lots of cares in the world right now, but if we had no care in the world, let's let it go for the next few minutes. Right, and we're just hanging out here, swinging the arms, right, and getting some rotation through the torso. All the way. One more. Good, and then come center, inhale, raise up. Exhale, and open. Good, now we're nice and warm. From this position, bring your feet in underneath you. Take a deep breath, inhale, raise up. As you exhale, hinge forward, and what I mean by hinge is, keep the spine nice and long, Move from the hip. Go to where you can and then soften the knee and then lengthen the sitting bones upwards. Crown of the head is reaching forward. We don't need to go all the way down, not yet. Not yet. Now if you feel you can go further, feel free to go down further. But keep length in the spine. Now if you've got lots of flexibility and your hands come to the floor, come to the floor, slightly tuck the chin, but keep the legs bending and straightening. What we're doing here right now is we're, we're pumping fluid into the tissues. By bending and straightening, we're pumping in fluids into the tissue. Through the fascial system, through the muscular system, we're just getting some hydration into the body. That hydration is going to allow us to move more deeply into all of the movements that we're going to do. Good. Two more. One more. Good. And then come down. Sit back. Hands come down, one knee comes down, the other knee comes down. So we're coming back to the feet. All right, so you're gonna take one foot in beside your knee, and your, your foot is about hip distance apart. So what's your hip distance between your supporting knee and the leg that's lifted? Line your heel up with the opposite knee, and you're just gonna roll onto the ball of the foot, shift your weight forward, shift your weight back. Shift forward, shift back. So right now, we're trying to lengthen through the back of the calf, right? So as we roll forward and back, we're just getting through the length of the calf. 
And I want you to notice if there's an imbalance in your body when we flip it over. One more time. And then lower. So now, flip it over, toes down. Same leg. Now, toe, knee goes down, then pull back. Oh. I don't know about you, but I got a lot of tension running along the front of my ankle. Right, so I'm pulling it up. So we're working from the bottom up today, from the bottom up. So from the feet, through the ankles, into the lower leg, then we'll get into the upper leg, the hip, the spine, and the shoulder and the chest. So we're just gonna work our way up. Ah, and then bring it down, let's go to the other leg. Bring your foot down, you line the heel up with the opposite knee. You roll forward onto the ball of the foot, and then down. Now try and keep your weight forward your chest into your thigh. That's going to give you a little bit of resistance into that stretch. But we're going to come right up onto the ball of the foot, all the way down into the heel. So it's dynamic flexibility training that you're doing right now. So dynamic. We're going to combine dynamic and passive and active and static. Hey, Joanne, great to have you at class today. Carla, great to have you here. This is really great that you're stretching it out a bit because, you know, we work our bodies hard. We want to make sure we stretch as well. Good, now come on to the top of the foot. All right, get that stretch in the ankle. Lower the knee down. Pull up. Oh. Are you, are you kind of doing the same as I am right now? Going, oh, I got tension. I got some tension living in there. All right, so we work from the bottom, we work our way up. One more. Good. And come down. Okay, so now let's get into your calf. You're going to take your right knee and you're going to come right in behind your left um, knee on your calf and you're going to use your knee to roll out the calf. So you're going to slide down on the inside edge of the calf using your knee. What? Mm -hmm. Now go to the middle. Ooh. And also you're going to get a nice stretch because you're crossing that leg over. So you're starting to stretch out the hip. And then take that leg out to the outside of the calf and just go right up and right down. So your kneecap is now your releasing tool. Right? Only put as much pressure as what feels right for you. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, so the knee goes in as high as you can go. And then along just the inside line of the calf to the Achilles tendon. Only put as much pressure as you would like into it. Okay, and then come to the middle line of that calf. Oh, my Achilles tendons are a little bit tight from doing all that jumping around and bare feet in my living room. Keep it going. Good. And then cross that leg over to the outside of your, your, your leg. So now, outside of the lower leg, using your kneecap just to get a little bit of release, a little bit of stimulation, some blood flow into that area as you go into it. Good. One more. Good. And then curl your toes under. Curl your toes under. Float your knees up. Press back into that inverted V. Heels move towards the floor. And then just roll one foot up right onto the wall of the foot and then release to the other side. Nice slow tempo. So you just roll it out. Right, try and get full range of motion. Okay, now find a place where you can get your heels down. Now some of you may have lots of flexibility, so you walk your hands further out. Some of you need to walk your hands closer in. Wherever it is, heels down. Because now we're going to lift both heels, bend down towards the floor, lift up and press back. Lift and lower, out and back. So what does fascia love. Your fascia loves movement. To keep your fascia healthy, right, move. Move your bodies. Now, flexibility and how we train flexibility has really changed. We used to just talk about muscle. Now we're talking about the relationship between fascia and muscle because your connective tissue can often be a greater limitation of flexibility than your muscle tissue. Exhale and hold. If you're going, what? Yes, my friends. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, lower down. So good, so good. So now if you have the ball, you're gonna take the ball 
on the outside, find your major bone down the front of your shin, that's your tibia. And then on the outside, there's a group of muscles here that love to be rolled out. So you're going to take the ball right below your kneecap on the outside of that bone, and you're going to roll down the length of your shin. What? And if you're saying, but I don't have a dog, and I don't play tennis, and I don't have a ball, you're going to take your thumb along the outside of your shin. So two thumbs from the top, from the knee, down towards the ankle. Oh, right? This is where people often get shin splints. There's a lot of connective tissue in here that gets bound up. Okay, that limits our ability to move well. Okay, let's switch sides, other side. So remember, keep doing the massage with your thumb, or you're gonna come in and roll that ball along the inside edge, not on the bone, or on the outside edge, just to say. So you're not on the bone of the tibia, you're on the outside edge. Whew. Yeah. Keep it going. All right, so you're gonna roll it out, because we're gonna get into we're moving up the chain now. Okay, so release your ball or move your ball out to the side. Okay, come to kneeling. You're gonna take your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So shoulder distance apart, foot's on the outside. Why? That gives you more space, it gives you more space to move. Okay, so the toe is slightly turned up, but your shin bone is still vertical. So the shin bone is still vertical. How are we doing, everybody? You feeling good? Mm hmm. Okay, so right here, just move right and left. So just rock. Right, that movement is going to start to release your pelvis. There's no right or way, wrong way to move. Just move. Just move the pelvis. Let it rock. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So now, square it up. Your right hand reaches up and we lengthen. And then we come forward and out. So we're going to go up and then forward and lengthen. So keep that going. If you feel you can go deeper, go on to the forearm of the opposite arm. So now we're lower. Oh. Breathe into it. Good. And bring your hand back underneath you. Come back up. Don't come out of it yet. Pull back. Front toes come up. So you're going to hinge back until your front, your back leg is in a vertical line. And then go forward. All right, so we fold forward, we rock forward. So let's link our breath. Exhale to go back. Inhale to go forward. Exhale to go back. Inhale to go forward. Keep it going two more times. Right, and this time stay forward. Now we're gonna just change arms. <laughs> okay, so now right arm stays there, left arm reaches. And you open and you reach back and then you reach forward. So now we're going to open up through the torso on this side. So you're creating a half circle. Oh yes. One more. Good. And now pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. All right, walk your hands further out. Exhale, fold. Now your front toes are lifted. We're trying to straighten that leg as best you can. So you're trying to straighten the leg as best you can as you fold the body down. And then walk your hands in, bend this knee, and step back. Oh, other leg. Here we go. Come forward, step wide. Hand, shoulder width apart. You're in that deep lunge and just rock your hips. Just rock the hips, releasing it. Okay, so remember, maintaining mobility. Maintaining mobility is critical for performance. If we start to lose our mobility, a few things happen. Number one, you could risk an injury, right? Because the body is not working as efficiently as it could. We overstrain areas that do not need to do the load because we're not taking it through the whole body. So mobility is really, really important. Hold it here, inhale. All right, how are we feeling about this? We're gonna do that rotation, rotate, and then reach forward. Rotate and open the side, reach forward. Remember you can take the forearm down. If you want to go deeper into that lunge, your choice. One more time. 
and then bring it in. Walk back up onto your hands. Pull back. So you rock into the hips back, you rock forward. So length of the breath. Exhale to go back. Inhale to go forward. So breath is super important when we're doing mobility work because when we hold our breath, we hold tension. And when we hold tension, the muscles will contract and then not let us move. So try to keep that breath flowing in and out of your body as best you can as you're going through this. Good. So this time come forward, we're gonna switch the sides, right? Okay. So now the opposite hand reaches back, we open, we come back. So good. I'm feeling it, are you feeling it? So you really find that opening through the chest and shoulders, but the ribs and the hips are still maintaining a nice opening through the hips. I'm just checking out who else has joined us today. So thank you for joining us. If you're just coming in now, feel free to pick it up wherever you are. You don't need to start this one from the beginning because we are stretching today. Good, and then come forward. Good, come forward, and then pull back and maintain the stretch. Take your hands on either side of that front foot and just fold your body forward. Toes come up. This back leg, the thigh is in a vertical position. So we're not sitting all the way back. We're focusing on a balance between the front and the back leg. Hmm. Inhale here. As you exhale, step that leg back, come to all fours, and then roll yourself up. Okay, so take your right leg at a diagonal out from your hip. So your right leg's at diagonal. Just rock your hip forward and back. I always think this is like kneeling fencing. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would kneel and fence, but we were going to kneel and fence, right? So you're lunging forward at a diagonal. Your back hip, you're getting into that inner thigh, groin area, front hip, groin. Good. Breathe. One more. Good. And then come center. Hands come down. Keep that leg open where it was. Now, right away, you may say, I feel something going on. The same hand as the foot that's forward rotates up. Oh, good. And then threads across to where you can, and then opens, and then threads across. Two more times. Open and thread one more time. You thought this was just going to be like lying down and resting. No, 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 no. Good. Open and hold. Breathe, breathe. Hand comes down. Come on up. Switch sides. Step forward diagonally with the opposite leg and lunge as if you're going to lunge into a fencing, kneeling fencing. All right? Lunge forward, pull back. And again, notice if this side feels different than the other side. So we're moving through the body. Mm -hmm. So good. And then lunge forward, hold, and then come up, square up, hands down. That leg is still turned out. Mm -hmm. Reach up, and then reach through. Reach up. Now, some of you come to my fascial flex classes. I know I've been missing them as much as you have been, right? We do a little bit more rolling techniques in those classes, but today, because I don't know what you have at home to work out with, all right, I'm doing a little bit more dynamic flexibility. One more time. One more time. Up. Hand comes down. Come to kneeling. Ooh, so, so good. Okay, so now from this position, we're going to go on to our front. So slide yourself forward all the way down. Forearms down. Inhale and lengthen the spine. So open up the front of the body. So we're going to soften the knees, have your legs about hip distance apart so it's comfortable for you to bend. All right? Then exhale down, slide your hands to your ribs, push yourself up, press your hips back to your heels. Come forward, lower. Extend up, lower down, push up, press back. So just keep going in a nice tempo, slow, steady. Almost feel as though you create a little bit of a flow. It becomes rhythmical in your body. Good. 
Right, so our entire lower body now has been stimulated. We're moving up into the spine. One more. Good. And then push yourself up. All right. Have you got your towels ready? I hope so, because this is going to feel really, really good. Okay, you're going to take the towel, the roll towel, or your foam roller if you've got one at home, across the mat. Across the mat. And then you're going to lie back so that your shoulder blades are across the roller or the towel. Hands behind your head, and all we do is extend over so the head comes back into the mat. The elbows go out to the side and get a nice thoracic extension. So we're going to work dynamically through this. So tuck the chin, support your head, elbows come in, curl up. Then inhale and open. Full exhale, curl. Inhale and open. Full exhale and curl. Inhale and open. Exhale and curl. So just keep going through that two more times on your own time. Now the, the roller or the towel is right underneath your shoulder blades. This time, go back, stay back. Let the elbows open out, let the chest lift up, and this is just going to open up all the tension that's in the front of the shoulders, the ribs, and the chest. If you have been sitting at your computer or on your phone like 12 hours a day, because that's our way of communicating right now, we're going to be super, super tight through here, so just take your time. Tuck your chin, good, and then roll yourself up. You're going to put the roller or your towel along the mat the opposite way. And now you're going to put the bottom of the roller at the bottom of your ribs. So bottom of the roller, bottom rib cage. And then you're going to let your chest come back. Now if your towel is really short, make sure the back of your head is supported because you want to make sure your head isn't hanging off. Now, We've got a little bit of elevation of the ribs in the front of your body. You take your arms out and make snow angels. Arms go up overhead and then arms come down by the side. So for all of my international visitors here, um, you have to imagine what a snow angel would be like. Now for everybody who's um, doing classes with me today who's from Calgary, we do not have to imagine what a snow angel is like because we have had snow since September and it's still snowing today. It's like what the heck happened to global warming, right? I don't know about you, but I feel like the winters are getting super long here up north. Anyway, if you're just visiting, it's like, oh, do you have no idea where you lived? I'm in Calgary, Canada. All right, so there you go. All right, so does this feel good for you? Find a spot now where your arms can drape out and you're like, oh, that just feels good. Extending the spine opens up the front of the body, but it also creates space for your lungs to breathe more easily. So if you're having difficulty breathing, you got to open it up because we're so compressed when we're seat sitting for long periods of time. You got to then just let your knees go to one side and center and opposite side. So I almost feel like I said we'd go 30 minutes, but we could go for an hour, couldn't we? We could just keep going. But at least our body got a little bit of a release today. Good. Take your knees to one side, preferably to the side where the, your phone is, so you can roll onto your side and come on up to seated. So the last exercise, maybe seated up on a block if that's more comfortable or if it's comfortable for you to sit on the floor or sit on your roll of towel. We're going to do a little bit of thoracic rotation. So hands behind your head, lift up. Okay, now you're going to rotate to one side and then the elbow that's closest to the front is going to lift up and then come center, rotate, and lift. All right, so you just rotate, side bend. Now we can add on by reaching the hand back and coming in, rotate, lift the elbow that's in the front, reach the arm that's in the back. This gets us into thoracic rotation, really important 
when we have been sitting for periods of time to just get movement back into the upper body. One more time. Good. And then come center. Exhale. And just roll your shoulders. And then roll them the opposite direction. So good. And then rest your arms and just head your head to one side and then to the opposite side. So the head just gently rocks. And then take it to one side and then tuck your chin towards your shoulder. Look up to that side. Come to the center and go over the other side. Tuck the chin to the shoulder. Look up to that side. Come to the center. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, open up. Now you're not done yet, not quite. Bring yourself up to standing. All right, once we're in standing, we're gonna do our after test. Remember we did a pre-test? Lift your legs, how are they feeling? Oh, mine feel half the weight that they were before. Lift your arms. Whew, they're floating again. Good, straight leg forward bend, come down. Oh, freedom. All right, there should be less tension through the whole body. Bend your knees, roll yourself up. All right, gather as much energy from around you as you can. Inhale, exhale, open. And I wanna thank you for joining me for Fusion Stretch and for taking care of your body today. Do you feel better now? Feeling a little bit better? Yes, thank you for the waves, thank you for the high fives. And um, please comment, if there's things that you would like to understand more, comment, send me messages, share with your friends. I would love to be able to share all of these classes and workouts with as many people as possible. And also let me know what you would like to see more of or less of in the classes. So tomorrow, four o'clock, our regular Saturday, Pilates. So Pilates, Fusion Pilates tomorrow at four. Uh, have a great rest of your holiday Friday. I know it seems a bit strange because we've been home every day, but anyway, today is a holiday. Take care of yourself, do something fun. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.